Six Frederick County government agencies, the Health Department, Fire and Rescue, Animal Control, Department of Aging, Parks and Recreation, and Frederick County Public Libraries all have a few things in common, and two of which is that they all provide volunteer opportunities. At Frederick County Public Libraries, we're thrilled to have volunteers help us with our daily activities and daily services. And that they are always looking for extra help. The fire service started with volunteers, as long as the service has been around. It is a national problem that we do not have enough volunteers in our service. Frederick County government agencies believe that citizens should volunteer for many reasons. First off, each agency has a variety of fun and exciting volunteer opportunities for everyone and it's easy to sign up. All volunteers start out as dog walkers, cat socializers, customer service helpers, and light cleaners. The Home Delivered Meals, Meals on Wheels program where we have probably 150 to 175 volunteers. Now they're not all um, volunteering for us at the same time, but uh, we've got a core group of people that are assisting us five days a week. You can register to become a volunteer with Frederick County Parks and Recreation by simply going to our website, going to the Get Active link that's on our website and finding our volunteer page on there. Um, you can register to be a parks volunteer or a recreation volunteer. Most of the volunteer opportunities accommodate a wide range of age groups. You can start as early as the age of 16 so that you can start your training with parental permission. A lot of people start so that they can get credits under their belts. All that we ask is that library volunteers be at least 14 years of age or older and have a passion for libraries and the services that we provide. We accept volunteers as young as 10, and those between 10 and 14 do need to come with a parent or guardian who is also considered a volunteer. Individuals who decide to volunteer will be able to work around their schedule. We want to make this as easy for them as possible to volunteer because they're giving back. There's not a number specific of hours that we've currently set that we say as a minimum, and our most active volunteers are probably giving about 8 to 12 hours a month. Those who are signed up to volunteer will receive proper training for their chosen positions. We teach new volunteers the nuts and bolts of what we want them to do. And we build upon that as they volunteer so they can do more things. So the general training covers walking dogs here. Why do animals have different colored cage cards? We talk about how we interact with the cats here. We talk to them about customer service. Frederick County government agencies say that volunteering not only benefits the county, but it also benefits the individual. Volunteers are the backbone of what we do. Volunteers save the county money. The hours that they provided, the number that we have, equated to about seven full-time staff members. We have about 700 volunteers a year participating in the program. That equates to roughly 10,000 manpower hours each year. And if you do the math on that, that's about four full-time employees. So we're bringing in about four full-time employees each year. Well, I would say that a lot of people enjoy volunteering at the shelter because they love animals and they know they have limitations on how many they can personally have. When somebody calls, somebody's expecting help, and they're expecting help because it's usually one of the worst times of their lives. And when they see you coming in, they don't know whether you're a career or you're a volunteer. They just know that you're there to help them. I personally think it's very rewarding at the end of the day. If you would like to find out more information, visit their websites, or you can reach them by telephone.